Hi everyone, it's Fraser from Omar's Chester here another quick video tour. So I'll be taking around the 65 plate Volvo V40 you have here on site. I do apologise if it's a little bit dark today but I'll make sure I get all the lights on so you can see as much as possible. This is an absolutely wonderful car. It gives all the Volvo style and power and practicality like you all know. But just an extra touch of luxury. Does the job very nicely. The car's in fantastic condition, it's been very well looked after. Jumping inside straight away, you'll notice the gorgeous full leather interior. Extremely comfortable, plenty of headroom and plenty of legroom of course. Very stylish and sharp interior. Of course with the Volvo foot badge as well. Jumping into the back, we of course have plenty of room for our three passengers. And again, full leather interior. It is a bit dark but you might be able to just make it all out of course it's in the black leather. Additional storage as well here in the back. Very cosy. As we come round to the beer now, you see the smooth bodywork comes all the way to the finish. This is the cross country D2 model as well, in particular, as you can see. As we lift up into the boot here, notice we've got plenty of space. This is quite a deep set boot, so you can store an awful lot here. Of course those rear seats do fold down, we want to push this out even further so it will manage on those bigger journeys, on those road trips where you need it. If you're going out camping, it'll hold up very nicely, of course with the roof rails as well. You can pack a lot of stuff into it. Jumping inside, notice straight away of course we've got our mirror window and central locking controls all neatly tucked away in the door like you'd expect. Let's pop the lights on and get a bit of light in here, here we are. We can see the car has done slightly over 35,000 miles on the clock, but it's got a very long life ahead of it, as these cars are certainly built to last. For our controls, we do have our automatic headlights and remote boot release just down here. Our steering wheel, we've got our volume controls here. In addition, we've also got our track select and more. On the left hand side, we've got all our cruise control options. Very easy to set up and configure. I can easily pop the keys in like a key card there. Hold my foot down on the clutch, on the start button, and the car comes to life for me. Of course we've got our display coming to life there. And we can edit all that we could be looking down the controls here. So we've got our volume controls here on the left, on the right we have our menu controls, and down here we have our aircon controls. So there's only really these two we use, and of course all the keys on the pad here. So we can easily switch between our Bluetooth media, which you connect your own devices with. You can go into our digital AM and FM radio. All very easy to sort out because we just scroll through our channels and of course if you want to connect your own blue phone to accept telephone controls you can just easily use that except the controls are very straightforward so we've got volume and all our menu options don't need to be intimidated by this and once you get used to the stylish panel it's extremely easy to edit so we've got our eco and my plus up my car options down here for our aircon it's simple we can turn up the fan speed on the left here it comes up on our display we can set it to automatically adjust and we have our temperature and it is dual zone climate control and with the left and right buttons we can choose essentially means the front passenger and the driver can edit their options individually should they wish to do so so no worries about if the car is too hot or too cold everyone wins everyone can no more arguments it's a thing of the past we do have our auto stop start button just down there neatly tucked away and with our automatic gear stick we simply hold the lock trigger at the back to pull it out of park and we can pop it into reverse and once it's in reverse, you can simply pull down into neutral and then drive. Obviously you can push back up into neutral, but if you wanted to go into reverse or park, you need to unlock it again. So it's very easy to manoeuvre, you can simply pull, pull back, the car's ready to go. And of course, you just push forward at a stop, you know, you're stopping on traffic, and pull back forward again to drive off. Very easy to use, and an absolute blast. So of course, a very smooth ride. We do have our 12 volt port and additional storage here, will be neatly tucked away. Of course our leather parking brake and underneath our lovely leather arm mist. There is additional storage space with our USB port and also an additional 12 volt port that you might not be able to see down there. You can see the glint there. So there's additional ways to connect your own devices, to have them playing your own music on the media player and also have them charging up of course. This is an absolutely wonderful car, an extreme amount of space. I don't think the video does it justice, but it's extremely airy inside. 
I'm about 5 foot 11 and I feel tiny in this car, so if you're a taller driver, you'll feel quite at home. The very advantage, very advantages, uh, adventurous. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get my words up today. It's got a great driving position. And of course, it's, it handles like a dream. Sadly, that's all I've got time for in this quick video tour. So for more information on this vehicle, you can go on down to the YouTube video description where you can find a link to the Author Trader listing. Alternatively, as we are currently under lockdown in the UK, we are operating under click and collect. So you can go onto our website at www.motormatch.com to find out more. That's all for now. Hope you have a great day. Cheers.